Hi everybody, it's uh, Ken from Craft and Sprout, and I wanted to make a quick video on some of the options for toilets. We get a lot of questions uh, through our website and through Facebook and when we're at shows. How does a toilet work? So if you don't have an option for a flush toilet and you don't want to get involved in black water tanks and that entire deal, uh, I have four really good options here. Uh, some more popular than others in our experience, but I have four good options here and I want to just kind of run down the line Give you some price points Operation and all the other fun stuff that goes with it. So let's start over on the low end uh, and go from there So I, I talk about this at shows a lot because we, we talk about the discrepancy in prices right and the fluctuations from low to high and how things can cost this much or a lot more than this much here is our low end option, the Home Depot bucket. Uh, and people do this, uh, they'll put a pool noodle on it, put sawdust in it, they make these little retrofitting toilet seats that fit on here, five bucks all in, right? They get free sawdust from places like Home Depot and they'll use it essentially like a cat. And that's your comfort level. I'm not here to judge, but about five bucks all in. Very cost effective. Now we get to the, the better ones. First over here, we have a toilet by a company called Dry Flush. This is their Lavio version. This is a 12 volt rechargeable uh, toilet that has 14, 15 flushes in a cartridge that acts much like a diaper genie where it spins and evacuates the air out of it. Uh, it has a push button here when it's time to flush it. And then Tori will zoom up on here. Down in here, obviously this is the uh, charger that plugs in. And then the toilet literally can be moved around and put wherever, whether you put it outside, whether you put it in your shower and you have privacy with your shower door that we have in our wagon. Um, about a $700 price point. It's about a dollar per flush with the cartridges. Best bang for the buck is going to the company direct for it. Uh, the company is called Dry Flush. Uh, they have different models, uh, but very clean look and you know lightweight. I mean, I think the toilet probably weighs, I don't know, 20 pounds or so. It's, it's a lightweight little unit, very clean, very effective, does its job. Up the line. This is a Swedish company uh, called Separate, my people, the Swedes. Uh, this is a composting toilet, very popular in the tiny house world, okay? It's called a Separate because it keeps the urine and the solids just that, separate. So even guys sit down to go peeps. Uh, Tori can zoom up on the uh, thing. When you apply pressure to the seat, right? When you apply pressure to the seat, it's got a trap door uh, that deposits into the bottom. Then I'll open it up here so you can kind of see the inner inner side of it, inner working of it. All right, so it has a bucket that you put a bag in. It has a fan over here that dries out the solids. The urine diverter is here, which makes the urine go outside. You have a little pipe that runs outside. Uh, when the bucket is full, you'll take it out, put a new liner in, and start over again. This is around the uh, 14 or $1,100 price point on this guy. Um, so it's essentially the Ferrari of composting toilets. There are a lot of different brands out there. Uh, this separate, uh, it's the Villa model that we have here, has been tested, it's been used by so many people in the tiny house world, it's a very good option. Um, and it's worth checking out. And then we get up into probably one of our more popular models that we've done. Uh, this is a company out of Texas called Incinolet. This is an electric incinerating toilet. Uh, essentially burns everything. Uh, I'll show you here. We have, these are the bowl liners, right? I have one out for you here. So this is essentially put into the uh, bowl right here, ready? Caution, use bowl liner for each and every use. You essentially put the bowl liner down inside, use the toilet, and then there's a foot pedal over here, which I'll push with my hand just for demonstration purposes. 
right. and it drops into a little burn chamber and you push this little button right here. Push after each use. That's essentially flushing the toilet. Uh, it goes into the burn chamber. This toilet runs on 120 volts. There is essentially a coffee can that you empty out of the bottom with ashes like from your charcoal grill. Very clean. This one runs uh, starting at around $1,900 and then up to probably $2,400 depending on your mounting plate, your finish. This one here has a white uh, casing on the bottom. They have different versions of stainless steel, your flue pipe, uh, and there's a mounting plate you can put on the floor that costs a little bit, but uh, right about that, probably $1,900 and about $2,200, $2,400 uh, all in. Um, very good model in Sinlet, great company down in Texas, uh, been very popular with us. The vent pipe goes outside so there's no smell. Uh, it's pretty much across the board. The composter, vent pipes outside, the dry flush stays self-contained so there's nothing to vent out. But vent and a vent, none of them use water. Two of them run on uh, 12 volts and one of them runs on 120 volts so they're pretty friendly to most tiny house applications. Uh, if you guys have any other questions regarding toilets and options, uh, you can feel free to give us a call. Uh, our um, website is www.craftandsprout.com. We're on Facebook and on Instagram under Craft and Sprout. Uh, if you like this video and some of our other things that we're going to be putting out, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button down in the corner and like us. Uh, or give us a call at our office, 203-769-1717. Uh, Alright guys, thanks.